Are you a competitive athlete and want to know the difference between training in the off-season and training in-season? Watch this. Our next caller is Shane from Pennsylvania. Shane, how's it going? How can we help you? It's going very well. Um, I'm calling to ask about uh, zone one and zone two endurance training while lifting. Um, I know I've seen you guys previously talk to like a triathlete and said, just don't lift. So I wanted to see if like kind of lower heart rate work or technique work with lifting could uh, be an option. Uh, what, what is your goal? What's your goal with, with, with your training? What are you trying to do? It's a good question. So I, last year I got pretty into triathlons. I was doing a ton of races and running races. And now this year is really, I want to focus more on the fit side and just the training aspect, um, like training groups and then uh, lift three days a week. Okay. So, so is your goal to be good at triathlon still, or just be fit and strong overall? Fit and strong overall. Okay. And you want more muscle or did you want to be and look the way you is did? Is this like an training? off season for you training where you can focus yeah, on exactly. strength? Okay. Yeah. It's kind of off season. Like it's cold outside. So I'm lifting as in terms of my cycling training. Got it. And then are you going to get back into triathlon training? Yeah, probably like two months out, do like race pace focus stuff. Oh, what good deal. Like OCR. Type? Yeah, I, I would go. Yeah. No, I would go two days a week, not three days. I go two days a week of traditional resistance training. Um, I would definitely do some mobility work during the week, and then I would do one or two days a week of, of cardio training because you don't want to go too far in one direction. Getting back in season is going to be kind of rough. Three days a week is a little. That's more like muscle building focus, which is fine if that's what you want. But if you have an off season and on season. We don't want to go so far off season that when you go back to in season, you're just trying to play catch up. So I'd go yep. two days a week of the resistance training, full body. I would keep it traditional, maybe yep. throw in more, you know, single leg or, or unilateral exercises than, than, than usual, just kind of because you're, you know, you're all, you're, you're an athlete, do mobility work on your off days. That's going to always be beneficial. And then the cardio stuff is fine. I would keep that in there and, and just to maintain some of your stamina and endurance. So when you get back in in season, then the way you train in season is correctional exercise and then train specifically for a triathlon. That's when you're not focused on building. You're just trying to maintain uh, your health and your mobility and not have you don't think You don't think you can follow MAPS OCR and get all those benefits? I mean, there's a mobility focus in there. There's enough of a strength component that he's going to build some muscle. And then there's plenty of endurance in there so he doesn't lose too much of his endurance and stamina. Why not follow MAPS OCR? I don't think it's as off season as he would like if, if you're trying to build a little bit and stuff i would go more traditional uh ocr is mm -hmm. good if, if but then he could just back off some of the running in there if that's the case so if you want to be and then it, just back off a little bit of the running that's that we've programmed in there and add in more mobility work instead and then you get a little bit more recuperative i think that program for the what he, kind of athlete he is will be pretty damn good. Maybe. I mean, it's it's a lot. Remember, OCR was the a lot of The guys who wrote volume. that are fucking brilliant, yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of volume. There's well, a lot of stuff Well, if you're serious about yeah, endurance training specifically, like Sal said, you don't want to stray too far because uh, it's one of those things that that's the, the adaptation that you're pursuing the most. So we have to keep incorporating it somewhat. Uh, definitely the strength training, like two times a week, you're going to be able to cover that if it's full body. Uh, I do believe that does cover it in OCR. And the grip training especially is definitely high highlighted in that as well um so you know between that and, the, and then building up you know form strength and um and everything else in there is really good for that i mean yeah. we we address i mean there's some things like he could he could shave out of that right yeah. so if you think it's too much running he could back off if he wants a true off season so just shave that off a little bit if the forearm training and grip strength is more than what he needs you could shave there's a few things in there but all in all the way that is structured and programmed, I, I think, really fits his avatar. The person it could. Who is you know what I like a little better for offseason for him would be performance, match performance, mm. to be quite honest. It's a little more general, more strength and general performance. OCR is a little bit more specific well, OCR. Yeah. Like, he, okay, he's, he's triathlons, right? I agree with swim. the mobility focus, yeah. especially. I yeah. Think, I think that that can't be overemphasized. Yeah. And the run, swim, bike, that grip work is not really necessary. There's yeah. A that's, lot of it. Well, that's why I say you could shave some of that off. I mean, I'll, I'll concede to that. I mean, uh, per performance or but I mean, I think there was a program that we've already written that is structured well enough yeah. that he could follow the blueprints versus trying to like create his own thing right yeah you're Where right you i'm like yeah you're right either either use ocr and shave out some of the stuff that you don't see applies to your goals um or follow maps performance and i think yeah. uh i think both would be be fine yeah. for what he's trying to accomplish you know what's really cool about this question shane well 
What's really cool about this is that Adam and I both have a little bit of different opinions, which means you get two programs for free. So we're going to send you <laughs> both maps, OCR, yeah, and then the report back. You know who had the maps better strategy. performance. You walk, look through will. them, and then pick one of those because I don't think you're going to go wrong with either one. Um, so you got both. You got both programs yeah. for free. We'll send them over to you, and then let us know what happens. All right, great, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, you know, good discussion around this is the difference between off season and on season training. You right, know, there was yeah. that article. That was written about the Bills and how they took squats out of their training in season. Mm -hmm. And they said, well, that's one of the reasons why we're not is injured. Uh, by the way, I think there's more to that than the story. It's, I don't think it's just squats. Yeah. I think it's just heavy lifting in season. When you're in season and you're competing, your exercise outside of your traditional competitions it's managing is, stress. That's it. How do I keep myself from getting injured? Yeah. Your goal is not to hit PRs. You can't push yourself in competition and simultaneously push your training super hard, you're asking for trouble. Off-season is when you yeah. push the training. That's okay. when you're really pushing the performance. I definitely feel it's valuable for, especially endurance athletes, to go through you know a period, a phase of you know more strength focus. Obviously, you know still incorporating some endurance elements just to maintain the skill of it. But you know, just like anything else, like you need to keep building the body back up to be able to support and stabilize the joints that are keep propelling you forward. Yeah, that's why I, I can get behind the performance recommendation too. So yeah. I don't I don't disagree with that. I just think that we have some something already that's structured enough that he could pretty much follow and maybe just mm -hmm. a couple modifications maybe OCR recommendation would require a few more modifications like there's another thing I know that we put in there that I'd probably have him shave off there's no real reason for him to do the like we remember we did after the every test yeah the test at every yeah. block doesn't yeah. really need to do that and doesn't need to train that intensely uh there so he could drop that maybe some of the forearm stuff like you were alluding to but other than that, I think either one of those programs uh, would do him well. Both of them have a, a mobility-focused component, which is the thing I think we're all totally. trying to point him totally. in. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here, or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.